Welcome, I'm Aliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. In this video, I'm going to tell you the seven signs that you have found your soulmate. What is it that you can look out for that shows you that you have a deep soul connection with this person? At the end of the video, I will also tell you what the importance of soulmates are in your life, what role they play, and how this can help you in moving forward. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And there's a link below to our merch store. We've created amazing products for you. Anything you purchase truly goes a long way in supporting the channel. And I thank you for this. Now, the first sign that you have found your soulmate is that there's an instant attraction. They embody what attracts you both physically and in character. And you embody the same for them. As soon as you see each other, it's like the world around you pauses for a moment and there's just you and them. And this truly makes you feel like you've moved kind of out of time and space because everything around you has stopped and you instantly see each other. This is a very powerful sign and it usually doesn't only happen the first time you lay eyes on each other. It happens again and again. There are moments where you truly feel this with the other person and this is your souls communicating with each other on a deeper level. Number two is that you are truly comfortable in each other's presence. It doesn't matter what you look like, what you're wearing, if your hair is a mess or not, if you're wearing makeup or not, it truly makes no difference. You can be you and you feel this ease. You feel that you can say anything you want to say, do anything you want to do, and this truly makes you feel freedom. With a soulmate, freedom of expression, freedom to truly bring out who you are is what makes you feel so happy being around one another because it is that you can express yourself not only freely, but they bring out a you that you love being, that you truly are excited to be, a more fun version of you. It's not a different version of you. It's something that maybe around other people you are not as comfortable bringing forward and expressing. You feel that maybe you'll be judged or criticized and with your soulmate you don't feel that. You feel truly safe. Number three, you have very common interests, perhaps the same hobbies, perhaps the same uh, job that you do. You are both athletic or you're both laid back or you're both hard working. There is something very deep connecting your souls, which is also in your character, which brings forward what you enjoy doing. This soul connection is and also what it is you enjoy bringing forward into the world, what it is you like expressing, what it is you like doing, saying, the way you like to behave, you'll find that you truly have very, very common traits. Number four, you have a deep connection with one another and you can both feel this. Even if you've just met, you can feel that you've known each other for years and years. You can feel that you've experienced so many things. And what happens is, as the years go by, you will find that you experience things with one another that you do not experience with anyone else. You have memories that carry on throughout the years that you build that are not experienced with other people. And this is because your souls truly communicate with one another, truly know what you both enjoy doing, truly know how it is that you can experience things that are new, that are exciting, that are memorable, that truly bring forward happiness and love and excitement. And this lasts for years. This brings us to number five, where other people also feel your connection. It's like you, they feel that you are a pair, that they feel that you are a couple. Even though you may not be together, you may not even be dating, they can feel this true connection and this energy 
can be felt even if you're on opposite sides of the room, even if you're in different places. People who know both of you feel that you both are connected. And this can be very, very powerful. It can be exciting for people around you and it can also be overwhelming for them. It depends on how powerful this energy is between the two of you. And this varies from soulmate to soulmate. But I'm sure that you've experienced this and you know what it is I'm talking about. If you have found your soulmate, you realize that when you walk into a room and you're side by side, people will automatically think that the two of you are together, that you're dating. Even if you're not, they will feel that you are truly connected. Number six is that it's very easy to forgive one another. When it is that you have found your soulmate, perhaps there will be arguments, perhaps there will be hurtful situations. You will find that you move past this heavy energy, the sad energy, the pain, or whatever it is that's happened. You move past it much easier than you would with anyone else. And this is because there is so much more meaning to your relationship, to your connection with one another than the surface arguments, than the surface energy. It is the deeper energy that truly matters. And that is what moves you forward. That is what moves your relationship forward. So the little things that might happen that upset one another and sometimes even more powerful things that might be hurtful and happen between the two of you, you will find that it is easier for you to express that, hey, you hurt me. Hey, I didn't like this. And for them to tell you what it was that you did that they didn't like. And then you can both express this and when it's expressed you can move past it you can forgive one another very easily and much more easily than you would forgive anyone else number seven is that it's not easy to let go of the connection because with your soulmate you are connected on a very deep level the energy has built over years and years maybe over lives and lives it is very hard to move past it to say, I no longer want the other person to be a part of my life. You can say it, perhaps you can even achieve it for a while, maybe even years, but you will find that again and again, you will be drawn into one another's lives over and over again. It is very hard to truly, completely cut all ties and to leave one another's lives. There is something that will keep drawing you and attracting you to each other over the years. And this is normal to happen between soulmates because it's not just surface energy. It is not superficial energy. It is not even just being in love or being attracted to the other person. There is powerful energy connecting you. Your souls are connected to one another. And this happens by choice. It happened perhaps years and years ago, maybe in another life, lives and lives ago, but you chose one another. You chose that you wanted to be in each other's lives. Soulmates exist in each other's lives to transform one another. It is energy that is there, that comes together, that flows together in order to bring about change and change from within you, to help you see things from a different perspective, to help you learn, to help you understand. And this helps you move forward into something truly new. There is something in both of you. There are many things that are very similar energy. And this very similar energy, because like attracts like, comes together. Though there are also many traits in each other that are very different. It is the differences that you have with your soulmate that make you look at things that perhaps you wouldn't have noticed, that you wouldn't have even bothered to see. And when you see them, it truly brings about a deeper understanding. And this deeper understanding gives you the opportunity to make changes, to make choices, to make decisions. And this transforms you from within. 
you can choose to keep moving forward with your soulmate and transforming one another, or you could feel that I am who I want to be right now and I can move forward without my soulmate bringing about triggering little changes. You truly do inspire one another and you're excited to be in each other's presence. And this excitement brings about happiness, it brings about love, it brings about creativity. What you choose to do with your soulmate and the relationship that you build with one another truly is up to you. It is your choice, it is your decision. I wish you happiness, I wish you love. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and also remember to like.